All right, uh, still missing a couple parts, so I went to the junk store today and I uh, got some stuff. Uh, got a, uh, I ran out of uh, uh, DB9s, so that will, that will go there. And I didn't have the HC573, so paid too much for that, but 99 cents, I guess that's not so bad. Uh, so, uh, make sure that they gave me the right one. 74HC573, official TI part, very nice. And, very new, so I have to bend the legs. Put that in. There. Um, off camera, I programmed the 16V8. Um, so we've got Tiny Basic. I think this thing's ready to power up, except I forgot. I was at the junk store and I forgot. <laughs> I need a stupid crystal. Uh, 6.144. So I know I have a bunch of 6 megahertz crystals. Uh, I'll look to see if I have a 6.144. I don't think I do, but I do have 6 megahertz crystals. So I'm going to pop one of those in here, kind of loosely, and we'll look at an oscilloscope and see if we get any uh, signals on the uh, on the RS-232. And the Rigel has the RS-232 decoding, so even if the baud rate isn't right, um, it should be able to should be able to decode it. Um, and I'm wondering if um, six six and six one four four what percentage is that uh, it's probably about two percent um, I'm not sure what the tolerance is on baud rates if my 9600 was two percent off I don't know if my terminal emulator would still uh, still receive it or not so it might so I mean, it might be that a six megahertz crystal works just fine in here but we'll power it up and see what happens all right uh, so I've applied power, and um, let's uh, take a look at the oscilloscope here. I'll just look at some bus signals. Um, so there we go. We see we see we have uh, some type of uh, activity on the bus. So it's actually looks like it's running a program of some type. Uh, that one looks interesting. Let's do a single on that. So there we go. So it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely doing something. Um, so I would say it's working great. The question is going to be is whether the uh, baud rate is sufficient or not. So let me um, let me let me get my my little breakout board. Um, for the RS-232 so we can uh, we can put an oscilloscope on there and uh, see if we see a uh, uh, serial data. 